Um, Honestly, I, I don't even know. I think, you know, for me, I always wanted to be ready for whenever my opportunity came. I didn't know if I was going to, you know, be a backup for a while in the NFL and, and maybe get a shot in three to four to five years. Um, but sure enough, you know, early in the season when I had a backup Jimmy, when Trey went down, I was like, all right, it, it could come sooner, so I have to be ready for it. So. I think after a while, after I learned the playbook and, and started competing and making plays at camp, um, that sort of gave me some confidence moving forward. And, and if I needed my number to get called and, and get thrown in there, I definitely had confidence that I'd be able to go in and, and produce. All right, Mr. Purdy, what's going on, big dog? Doing good. Here with NFL Network. Question for you. All right, um, when did you first know that you could play in this league and be this successful? Man, uh, I think in camp, um, you know, there was some, some practices and plays where I made some plays and I was like, okay, you know, I, I think I can do this. And so uh, that, you know, sort of got my confidence rolling. And then week 13 against Miami going in and, and making some plays with, with the boys, I think that's when I knew. You hear the fans chanting your name, man, like, <laughs> what does that do for you? What does that mean for you to hear your name being chanted here on opening night at the, at the Super Bowl? I mean, it's it's a blessing. I mean, we got the best fan base in all of the world, and, and, the, and the Niners and the faithful. So, uh, for them to have my back, it means the world. It gives me a lot of confidence, and, and I love them. So, I want to play well for them. You mentioned uh, earlier that you would be reaching out to Steve Young uh, to get get his advice about playing in this in this game. Did you reach out to him? And if you did, what was his advice? Honestly, I haven't yet. Oh. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> he came and spoke to the team, and he just told us like. Basically, you know, these opportunities don't come around that often. And when you do get an opportunity, um, you got to go take it as a team. And so I'm going to reach out to him with the, the off day tomorrow and, and, and see what he has to say. But he's, he's been nothing but great uh, with love and support for me. And, and um, yeah, to be able to learn from a guy like that, no, nothing better. Brock, do you ever get upset, man? Because, I mean, seriously, people keep questioning you. They keep bringing up where you were drafted and when you were drafted. But they look at all the you look at all the numbers, your top five and pass. You, you know, you're at the top of a lot of categories from the quarterback position. Do you ever get tired of the criticism? I mean, it's part of the game. Um, you know, for myself, I focus on what I have to do every single week for every game. Um, and more than anything, I just want the respect and love for my teammates. And as long as I have that, uh, then I'm okay. You know, the, the playing quarterback in the NFL, people are going to say good things, bad things. That, that comes with it. And so, if you let that get to you, obviously. It's not good, but um, for me, man, I keep one play at a time kind of mentality uh, throughout the week and throughout my life, and I just I want to play for my boys. Now, in the NFC Championship game, you guys beat up on the Detroit Lions. They have a wide receiver in Amon Ra St. Brown, and he's famous for knowing all the 16 wide receivers that got drafted before him. All right, there were eight quarterbacks that got drafted before you. Can you name them, and which school were they went to? No, <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, honestly, I'm not that kind of guy. Um, I know a couple of the guys that got drafted before me, but I've never held a grudge for it or anything. I'm a, I'm a believer that you know God has a plan for everybody, and and I fell last for a reason. And so um, I've I haven't held any grudges against other teams. It, it all happened how it needed to, and I'm blessed to be part part of the 49ers. And the NFC after after the NFC Championship game, you were in the locker room. You talked to Nick Bosa. You said you believed you could have played better. Where does that confidence come from? And if you could have played better, I mean, you guys won the game. What was it like? Like, what else you could have done better than what you did in the NFC Championship? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just like early on in the game. You know, we, we needed momentum. We needed, needed to make plays, convert third downs. Um, there had been, you know, some plays where I feel like I could have been better with progressions. And so those are things that I'm hard on myself with, and I want to be better for my team. And so obviously, you make plays at the end, and then Nick's like, "Hey, man, great job. Where did it all come from?" And I'm like, I'm thinking about the plays I could have been better at. So, but. To have Bosa like that and have my back, it uh, doesn't get any better. Last one, and I'll let you go, brother. Kyle Shanahan, your head coach, your play caller, uh, what has he meant to you, and how does this offense do what it does? Again, I don't need all your, your game plan and stuff, but, man, you guys put defenses in a blink. Yeah, man, his, uh, his system, you know, as a quarterback, you want to play in this kind of system because um, he ties everything together, the run game, play action pass, drop back. He allows the quarterback to go into his system and be efficient um, and, and allow the allow the quarterback to just play the position and help the team win. And so he keeps it simple. He, he has taught me a lot, but more than anything, he's a competitor, and you want to go to war with the guy.
We're going to send it back in into the studio to Colleen. But great job, man, and good luck. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. That's dope, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. 100%. I haven't sur surfed it yet. That's uh, yeah. We'll come back down to Newport and get in some waves. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm honored, man. Um, obviously, have watched the guy play in the NFL. Um, you know, since he really came in and started, and been a big fan of his. The way he competes and 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 does what it takes to help his team win. So to be able to go up against a guy like that in your first Super Bowl, like it doesn't get any better than that. So, I mean, thank you guys for all the belief, the love, and support. And um, obviously keep tuning in and watching, and hopefully we can pull this out for everyone over in, in the U.K. So, yeah. Hey, this is Chase. He's the Kids. How you doing, dude? Nice to meet you, man. The reason why I did a head first slide instead of going with my feet, I think in the moment in the game, um, if you slide with your feet, you get marked down like two yards or so before. So I wanted to do what it take to move the ball a little further. So I did what I could for my team and put my head down and try to get a couple more yards. Great question. Yes, sir. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry, one more time. Sorry. Um, I mean, honestly, you know, for me, it's, it's always been about God and my life living for him. Um, and I got drafted last, I'm playing football out of college and, um, you know, I, I didn't really know what my future looked like or anything. It was all about, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to show up and, and try my hardest and trying to get drafted. Niners ended up drafting me. I got drafted last and I was, I was grateful for that. And I took that opportunity and studied the playbook, worked hard, did everything I could to make the team. Sure enough, I made the team. I became a backup, and then I got an opportunity to play. So for me, it's just been trusting God and his plan for me in my life. And it's never been, I need this. I need to be a starting quarterback. I never said that to myself. It's always been, wherever God needs me, that's how it's going to play out. So 